Greetings and welcome back everybody. I've got an interesting video lined up for you guys today because we are going to check out some of the most advanced features on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Also, I've done a couple of videos on the Note 20 Ultra, so you might want to check them out, especially the camera and the 100 tips and tricks video. As always, I have put the time code in the video description so that it becomes easy for you guys to skip to any particular part in this video. All right, so without any further delay, let's get started. All right, guys, the first advanced feature I'm going to show you is the wireless DeX functionality for Smart TV. So the way this works is that first you switch on your TV, then grab your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, drop down the notification panel and then tap on DeX. And over here, you will see your TV listed. Just tap on it and that is pretty much all there is to it. And bam, we have Samsung DeX running on our smart TV completely wirelessly. One of the most advanced features of wireless DeX for TV is that you can plug in a standard computer keyboard and a mouse into one of the USB ports of your TV and you will be able to use the keyboard and mouse as input devices. I'm just using a wireless keyboard in this video but standard USB wired keyboards and mouse will also work. And this pretty much transforms the TV into a personal computer, complete with a keyboard and mouse. It sort of gives you Windows-like experience because you can see you've got icons on your desktop and whenever you double click those icons, the apps open up in a little window just like they do on a Windows PC, although this is running Android. And guys, this is actually true PC-like multitasking on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. You've got multiple apps opened on the desktop and you can work on pretty much any one of them and they are all running together simultaneously. Very, very impressive for a phone. And you can do pretty much anything you wish. Like for example, you can give presentations, create documents, text your friends over Snapchat, or show your photos and videos on a big screen. Also, when I was playing back this video, this is a 4K video, there was absolutely no lag or any frame drop. So that's a good sign. And while you are using Samsung DeX, the screen of the phone is off. So it's not like the screen is turned on all the time when you are using DeX. But the thing is, you can turn the display on and the phone is fully functional. So you can do stuff on your phone as well as use wireless DeX. So if I want to make a quick phone call, I can do that. Just grab the phone, hit the power button, make a phone call, and that is it. And if you have an LG TV that comes with one of these magic remotes, you can actually use the magic remote to control Samsung DeX. The magic remote itself doubles up as a mouse. And yes, it is completely possible to play Candy Crush through the magic remote. I've also noticed that the input lag is very minimal, although that might depend on your TV. But for me, there was absolutely no lag and the game was completely playable. Quite a wonderful experience playing an Android game on a webOS TV. Also, what I have noticed is that the keyboard does not always work on LG TVs. So what you can do is plug in the keyboard's receiver into the phone using a USB Type-C to Type-A adapter. And then you will be able to use a physical keyboard to type stuff while you are using the wireless DeX functionality. Also, just so you know, the sound actually plays back on the TV speaker, not on the phone. So if you happen to play music, it will play back through the TV speaker. So here's a fun fact. If you have a home theater system hooked up to your TV, whenever you play music or watch a video, the sound will actually play back through the home theater. This is not running through Bluetooth. This is running through the Samsung DeX feature because my home theater doesn't even have Bluetooth. And yes siri, you can still use your S Pen to control the music player on the phone. So this will allow you to enjoy your music on big speakers. And if you don't have a keyboard or a mouse, you can use the phone as a touchpad. But nothing beats a keyboard and a mouse. Now if you don't have a dedicated keyboard to plug in into your TV, what you can do is enable the on-screen keyboard from Samsung DeX settings. And this will provide an on-screen keyboard that you will be able to use to send text messages. But to be honest, just get a wireless keyboard and plug the receiver into your TV. It is a lot easier to type on an actual physical keyboard. Now as for gaming, I really couldn't figure out how to make these controls work with a keyboard. With mouse, it does actually work. So I can just tap here to turn the nitros on. But yeah, I really couldn't figure out how to make the keyboard work with this game at least. Maybe there are some games that do support a keyboard, but 
as for 9 does not. But simple games with touch input, they do work just fine. I've shown you Candy Crush with the LG remote, but you can also play it using a mouse. So this is actually quite fun to play on the TV. You can also make it go full screen by pressing this button. If you don't have a TV that supports Miracast, what you can do is run Samsung DeX on your Windows PC. All you have to do is connect the phone through the USB Type-C cable to the PC. And now you will be able to use Samsung DeX on your computer. And it's pretty much the same thing. So it's prompting me. I'll start. And there you have it. This is Samsung DeX running on Windows 10. For this, you will need to download a little software from Samsung's website. This is the PC app. I'll put this link in the video description. You can do that from over there. And this is pretty much the same thing, but the difference is now I can use the keyboard and the mouse that is connected to my PC and use that as input devices on Samsung DeX. And one of the biggest advantages of running Samsung DeX on a Windows PC is that you get copy and paste functionality. So I can copy text from my Windows PC. So this is in Notepad, Control C. And now on Samsung DeX, I'll press Control V and that will copy and paste text from my Windows PC onto Samsung DeX. So this is very useful if you wanna copy text from your Windows PC and save it onto your phone. Not only that, you can also copy text from Samsung DeX. So Control A, Control C, and then Control V. So that copies text from Samsung DeX onto our Windows PC. And it's not just limited to Samsung Notes, you can also copy messages. So here I will copy a message from Snapchat and I can paste this over here into Word or anywhere I like on my Windows PC. And you can also use DeX to transfer photos. Just drag and drop a photo and that will copy the photo on your phone. So inside the gallery, this is the photo that we just copied. I'm not exactly a mobile gamer. I do prefer playing games on my PC through Steam, but I did try to run Asphalt 9. Unfortunately, all I got was this gray screen. So Asphalt 9 did not work. The only game that does work is Candy Crush and it works pretty flawlessly. But games that do have simple touch controls, they work perfectly fine. And Candy Crush is a fine example. So that was wireless Dex and Dex for PC. But check this feature out. You can actually see the screen of your phone on a Windows PC and you have full control over the phone so I can do pretty much anything I want launch any apps I want and even make phone calls. This is completely wireless here and you can see the phone is sitting over there. And the way you launch apps is by pressing one of these icons. Just double click and the app will launch or over here on my Windows PC. So this is possible through link to Windows. Let me just grab my phone and show you guys. So on your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, drop down the notification panel and you will see link to Windows. Just tap on this and first thing you'll need to do is set this feature up. It does require a Microsoft account and a Windows PC and the setup process takes about one minute. So once this is done, all you have to do is launch the Your Phone app on your PC. This is the Your Phone app. Let's connect. You can see the phone over here, Note 20 Ultra 5G, and that's it. The phone is now connected. You will be able to see your notifications over here, read your recent text messages, see your photos, and launch apps that are installed on the Note 20 Ultra. Turn the screen off and keep the phone like this. And from over here, I can launch apps. For example, I'm gonna launch Snapchat. I'll double click, it says connecting to the phone. I'll just unlock my phone by entering my pin and that's it. Snapchat is now running. I can switch to the rear camera. So this will also allow you to create notes because now you can use the physical keyboard on the computer. And on top of that, you can actually copy and paste text to and from your phone. So for example, I'm reading this article and I want to save this into the Samsung Notes app. So what I'll do is select this. Control C and then I'll select this and then Control V and you can see it copies the text from the web browser onto the phone and alternatively what I can do is maybe I want to copy this thing from the phone onto my computer so what I'll do is double click select 
copy then maybe i'll open up notepad and, and then i'll just right click and paste so that's how you can copy and paste text to and from your phone i think this is a very very useful feature because this will increase your productivity and then you can also copy photos that are on your phone to the computer just select the photos tab and then just drag and drop the photo onto your computer and that is it and if you are wondering yes you can actually use the camera while you are viewing your phone screen on your pc so that's a cool feature also when you are viewing the screen on your pc this is what you will see on your phone the phone's display is pretty much off at this point of time you just keep the phone here or plug in the phone into a charger and then continue working one of the most advanced features of link to windows is that the clipboard is shared between your pc and your phone so for example if i'm browsing the internet on my pc and i like something for example i like this article and i want to save this on my phone so what i'll do is just select right click copy on my windows pc and now as long as the link to windows option is turned on i can now paste all that text in samsung notes or pretty much anywhere i want on phone so we will create a new note long press and paste and we were able to paste all that text that we copied from our windows pc onto our phone and this is not limited to the web browser you can copy and paste pretty much any text you want from your windows pc onto the phone and the shared clipboard functionality works the other way around so say for example i have created some note on my phone if i want to transfer this onto the pc usually i will mail the note but the simple way is to select everything and copy it on your phone and now on your windows pc on a document editor just right click and paste and that will paste the text that we selected and copied on our phone onto our windows pc and this is completely wireless this is such a powerful feature i absolutely love the shared clipboard functionality on the galaxy note 20. another feature that i absolutely love about link to windows is that you will get your phone notifications right on your windows pc so what i'm gonna do is send myself a text message and you guys will see a notification will pop up on our windows pc and there you have it and you can even reply to text messages so the phone is sitting over here i got a notification on my windows pc i can open this up and i can quickly type a reply on my windows pc and send it over and now the message has been sent to this phone you can also make and receive phone calls through the link to windows app and as you can see i have got an incoming call coming i'm just calling myself from the other phone so the thing is if you have a microphone plugged in or if you are using a laptop which has a built-in microphone you can make and receive phone calls right from your windows pc you don't even need to have the phone sitting nearby the galaxy note 20 ultra has this feature which allows you to play music over two different bluetooth headphones so this feature comes in very handy if you and your friend want to listen to the same song together. Let me show you how this works. So first off, you will have to start off by pairing two Bluetooth headsets with your phone. I already have this one connected, so we will start by pairing this one. So we will turn this one on. Also, here's a tip for you guys. If you want to pair a headphone which has this NFC logo, all you have to do is tap the back of the NFC logo onto the back of your phone and you will get a pairing prompt and just tap on yes otherwise you will have to do manual pairing by going into bluetooth settings put the headphone into pairing mode but with nfc it becomes really really easy to pair so now both of these headsets are connected to our note 20 ultra now you will have to drop down the notification panel and then tap on media and you will see both of them over here and just check this box to play music on both of these headphones the CH400 is this one, XP700 is this one, and both of them have separate volume controls. So now the thing is, if I play a song, it will play back on both of these. So let me go back to media. So this one is playing the song, can hear. And this one is also playing the exact same song. So this is a way you and your friend can listen to the same song together and you guys can also watch movies, music videos on YouTube and you will hear the sound coming from both Bluetooth headphones. 
Picture this. You are having a house party and you are streaming music from your Galaxy Note 20 onto a Bluetooth speaker and everyone is having a good time. But then someone comes up to you and asks you to play a YouTube video. Now if I play a YouTube video right now, you'll notice that the music stops and everyone starts to hear the sound that is coming from the YouTube app. Now there is a feature on this phone that will separate out the music player sound so that the music keeps on playing on the Bluetooth speaker uninterrupted and all the other sounds will play back on your phone. And this feature is called separate app sound. Let me show you how it works. So drop down the notification panel, go to settings, then tap on sounds and vibration and scroll down to separate app sound. Play media sound from one app on different audio device. So we will separate out the music application exclusively for the Bluetooth speaker. So we will turn this on. I will now select, I have selected Samsung Music because Samsung Music is my music application, but you can select any app you want by tapping add apps. Now we will go back and we will select the Bluetooth device. And that is pretty much all there is to it. And I will now tap on okay. So now watch what happens. I'll play the music back. Music is playing back through the Bluetooth speaker. Now if I launch the YouTube app and play this, the sound of the YouTube application is playing back through the phone speaker and nothing is getting interrupted. So this is the sound that is coming from the YouTube application, but the music is still streaming. So now if you are streaming music at a party and if someone asks you to do something else on your phone, the music streaming won't be interrupted. And I think this is easily one of the most advanced features on the Galaxy Note 20. And just press on the volume button and expand this and this will allow you to control the Bluetooth speaker volume. And this is the volume control for the speakers that are on your phone. The next advanced feature I'm going to show you is Bixby Routines. So what does Bixby Routines do? Bixby Routines will automatically adjust features and settings based on where you are and what you are doing. So as an example, if I launch YouTube, you'll see that the screen orientation automatically changes from portrait to landscape. And that is good because I usually watch videos in landscape mode. Also check this out. As soon as I exit the YouTube app, the screen orientation changes back to portrait. Also, another feature that I have automated is that whenever I launch Chrome, the font size will automatically increase. As you can see, the font size has gone up. Also, the 120Hz mode gets enabled. So Bixby routine says motion smoothness and screen resolution is set to adaptive and the font size has also changed to large. So this is very useful because when you are browsing the web, you want the font size to be a little bit bigger so that stuff is easier to read on the screen. So this is how you can automate stuff in Bixby routines. Now let me show you how to use Bixby routines. So go to settings, scroll down to advanced features and Bixby routines is over here. So these are the Bixby routines that I have created. If you tap on discover, these are the pre-configured Bixby routines on the phone. So for example, let's tap on before bed. The phone will automatically mute itself. Blue light filter will turn on, brightness will reduce and dark mode turns on. You can set a time from over here. I can set this to turn on at 12 AM. So very, very useful, but I'm not going to do this. I'm going to show you how to create your very own Bixby routine. So to create your own routine, you press on the plus icon and the phone says, if add what will trigger this routine. We need to add something that will trigger a routine. Tap on the plus icon and select something from over here. As an example, let's pick out Instagram and I will press on done. So now when Instagram opens, press on next, then what will this routine do? So we need to add an action from over here. So when Instagram opens, I automatically want the brightness to go up. I will tap on done. So now if I launch Instagram on my phone, the brightness will automatically go up. You can press on the plus icon to add more stuff from over here. And for example, if I also want the font size to increase a little bit, you can also do that. You can also change the motion smoothness from standard to adaptive so that you get smooth scrolling experience in Instagram. And now I will tap on done. 
and we will name this Instagram. So now watch what happens when I launch Instagram. So as you can see, the brightness has gone up and the motion smoothness setting is now set to 120 Hz. Obviously you won't be able to tell on the camera because I'm recording this video at 30 FPS, but I can already notice the change and the font size has also gone up. And if you drop down the notification panel, you'll see the Bixby routine running over here. It shows you that if Instagram app is launched, then brightness will increase to 65%, font size will be set to medium, and the motion smoothness will be set to adaptive, that is the 120 hertz option. And I have literally just scraped the surface. There is a whole lot that this feature can do. If you tap on discover, you will see that there are tons of features that Bixby routine can tweak on your phone. And one of my favorites is the battery level. So if the battery level drops below 25%, the brightness will reduce to 21%, Bluetooth off, mobile data off, medium power saving gets turned on to save battery, location will be off and Wi-Fi will also be off. So this routine will let me conserve some battery power until I am able to find a charger to plug my phone in. Amazing and a really advanced tool on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This is one of the best features on this phone. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. And if you guys enjoyed watching, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you want to see more content on the Note 20 Ultra. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.